Oh, that's really cool. Can yeah. we start this one? Hey guys, Julian Lello here with Melbourne-based portrait photographer Tommy Quo and model Joanne. And today we'll be shooting two photographers, one model. So we had all intention to be shooting outside today at the Royal Botanical Gardens, but as Melbourne weather is Melbourne weather, summer has turned into winter and we'll be shooting indoors. So we're shooting at my house with window light only. Um, so what we're going to do is choose three locations throughout the house and Tommy and I are both going to shoot Joanne. So you can see how two different photographers have a very different perspective on shooting the same model. Um, today I'll be shooting with the 5D Mark IV uh, with the 24 to 70 2.8 and possibly uh, the 50mm 1.2. And what about you Tommy? Uh, I'm shooting with the Canon 5D Mark III with the Sigma 35mm 1.4 art lens. Let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! the 51.2. Um, I love the versatility of the 24 to 70 usually when I'm shooting portraits or fashion just because I can sit in the one spot and zoom in and out and have that luxury. Um, so it was a bit of a challenge having to actually move back and forwards myself. Um, it was handy though having the 1.2 um, so I could drop the aperture a little bit although it's like this really beautiful soft light. It's a lot darker through the camera lens than it is actually with the eye so having that being able to drop the aperture a little bit below my normal 2.8 um, was pretty handy. location and we're in Julian's office and we're thinking of just using this corner to shoot the last set of portraits with Joanne so let's see how we go So now that you guys have seen a little bit of the BTS and a few of the final edits from our shoot with Joanne, I just wanted to throw up a couple of images from each location side by side, just so that we can sort of delve a little deeper into how different both Tommy and I shot Joanne in the same location. So at first glance, in terms of composition, there are some slight differences um, with the images. You can see that Tommy's angles and lines and the way he's used the surroundings are a little bit more off center and obscure to the way I've used them. Tommy's also gone with a little bit more depth whereas I've sort of used a higher aperture and got a little bit more uh, in focus throughout the whole frame. So I guess already that sort of shows that little bit of difference between um, someone who shoots predominantly portraits in Tommy to myself who when I shoot people I shoot a little bit more fashion. I think the major difference though is in the editing style. Um, these are at, seem to be at opposite ends of the spectrum. You can see with Tommy's, he's gone with this really cool, um, moody sort of look, added a little bit of grain to it, uh, which gives a, a cinematic, almost film vibe. Um, whereas with mine, 
I've gone with a little bit warmer tones, uh, a little bit of a cleaner look, um, which again probably leans to that little bit of more of a fashion background um, that I have. So that wraps up my first episode of Two Photographers, One Model. If you enjoyed and want me to make more of them, let me know in the comments. Even let me know if you know of any Melbourne based uh, portrait photographers that you think I should do a video with, let me know also. Big thanks to Tommy and Joanne for getting involved in this one. And a very big thank you to Dave Boots Inc. He produced the track uh, over this video called Toffee Apples. Uh, he produced it specifically for this video on my channel. So if you want to listen to more of his beats, I'll leave a link to him in the description below. Uh, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, got a little something out of it, hit like, subscribe, and thank you for pressing play.